I'm here with uh, Valparaiso forward Ben Cricky. Ben, thanks for the time. Yeah, I appreciate uh, it. After a tough practice. Of course. What, what has been the biggest surprise to you this season? Just all the different pieces that have been added, the freshmen and the older guys. Yeah. I mean, I think Preston's really come on the scene and obviously he was going to redshirt early on. Um, you know, he comes in and brings a good spark every game, defensive energy, a level of leadership too, which is rare from a freshman. Um, so I think he's kind of been the biggest surprise for me, uh, you know, just stepping into his role and excelling at that role. So. You've kind of been the consistent guy, the key guy through all this, all conference last year, stepping your game up this year. Yeah. What has it been like just having the new faces? Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely been an adjustment, just learning to play with new guys, uh, kind of tweaking systems and different things. Um, but it's been a great adjustment. I've really enjoyed playing with all the new guys and just kind of getting to know each other's tendencies as, as the season's gone on and, and you know, building chemistry. So. Canadian, right? Yeah. How would you fall in love with the game of basketball? Um, well, my dad played college basketball up in Canada. Um, he run a basket. He like was running a basketball camp until COVID kind of started. But he was running that for about 21, 22 years or something like that. Um, so he kind of expels me young. Um, had a bunch of Michael Jordan DVDs uh, when I was little. Watched a ton of those all the time. So had the greatest highlights and, and his best games or whatever. So I spent a lot of time with that. Just, you know, watch a lot of YouTube, watch an old bunch of old guys. I don't know why. Like I didn't really watch the modern NBA, but a lot of Larry Bird and Michael Jordan and stuff like that. Um, and then I went out and tried to replicate it just outside on the basketball hoop, uh, you know, downstairs in the Nerf hoop, just trying different footwork and trying to take take and learn, you know, from the guys I've been watching. So the kind of segues is though what I've been asking some of the other guys about. It's like you are just so consistent every game, game in and game out. It's like people know where your spots are and you, they still can't stop you. Yeah. Who did you model your game after? Uh, kind of a mix of a bunch of guys, like I was saying, you know, uh, Michael Jordan obviously tried like the footwork and different things down in the post. Watched a lot of Kevin McHale, uh, Kim Olajuwon, just, you know, it's just kind of a mix of a bunch of different guys trying to be versatile still on the outside. Uh, you know, the three hasn't been falling this year, but, you know, I, I still think that's part of my game. So, yeah, just a mix. And then what is it that makes your game so unique? Uh, I'm not sure. It's just, uh, yeah, that's an interesting question. I just, you know, I think I can score on, on three levels. Like I said, and three hasn't been efficient this year, but I'd like to think I can, you know, score on the post. My mid range game is there. And, you know, I can step out and be a little versatile. So, yeah, I just say versatility is my biggest kind of asset. Kobe King obviously coming off maybe his best game as a beacon on Saturday. What yeah. does it mean to have him step up in that way? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's huge for his confidence, just kind of getting back to where he was, uh, you know, before he got here and, and taking that break. But, you know, I think it's really good for him just to, you know, get that, get that confidence back, get that shot going, and, and you know, hopefully – you can do some more of that coming up. So, yeah. being that steady guy that's been here and has been through the valley schedule before, now going through the second half, the second time through. Yeah. What's kind of your message been to the guys who maybe haven't experienced the valley, and, and now that you've been through it once already? Yeah. I mean, obviously it's a tough schedule and a, and a tough conference. Like you don't really get games off. You got to bring it every single game. So, just trying to be consistent and bring it effort every day. And. Uh, yeah, just bringing effort every day and, uh, you know, just t attacking each day, attacking each practice, understanding where we need to be and how we need to get better. So, Who would you say is the funniest guy on the team? Oh, man, we got a lot of funny guys. Uh, I mean, Cam's pretty funny. Joe, uh, Slim. I mean, the list could go on. There's Thomas, like tons of funny guys. Got a lot of characters. Who's taught you the most about maybe, I don't know, I guess basketball or let's do basketball and then also off the court. Uh, I'll start with off the court. I mean, me and Joe kind of bond. We go to church together. So, uh, you know, we talk a lot about off the court stuff and, and just hang out a lot. Um, hung out a lot in the summer too, so that was cool. Um, you know, Thomas and I talk a lot. Trev and I talk um, a lot about like on the court kind of strategies and different things we see out on the court. And, uh, you know, Kev, Kobe, you know, we all kind of talk about ideas off each other and, you know, try to, try to learn from one another. So. 
obviously losing Trevor is, uh, you know, tough and it sucks, but yeah. how have you seen him respond to more of, like, is he still a captain and still a leader as we saw today in practice? Yeah, I mean, definitely, like you said, he's, he's been more of a, a vocal leader, not obviously not showing it on the court, but you know, he's still more of a coaching role and, and just kind of bringing guys alongside him, um, you know, just being a vocal leader, so. Um, I guess, what is the most interesting thing about you that people may not know? Interesting thing about me, hmm, maybe, you know, in the summer I really enjoy going fishing, spending time outside, uh, going on bike rides and stuff. I, I spend a lot of time just, you know, going out myself, just riding around Edmonton and we have a really nice river valley there. So spending a lot of time going on pretty much full day bike rides. So I really enjoy that. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Ben.